Hello everyone, welcome back to the videos. It's wonderful to have you here as always. Um, in this video, this will be two days after roll racing. Um, Ethel is in need of a couple of upgrades. One of which is a proper clutch. So the clutch that's in it, uh, I have absolutely no idea. It boggles my mind that it's still hanging on. Um, after all this time, abuse and horsepower that it's it's making, it just seems to be hanging in there. Um, but yeah, it's 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 not having a good time. It's not liking life in its current state. So I need to give it a much needed clutch upgrade, especially if I'm going to push and progress the car further and as far as I want to push it, um, which some of you may or may not know. I, I would like to push this car a bit further. So, the clutch company has given me this wonderful, I mean you can't see it, but this wonderful piece of paper with all these measurements that they want me to get. Uh, before I can go and order this clutch. So, my job today is I need to get Ethel back up on the hoist. I have to yank the transmission out of it and get all these measurements for them. I also have to get the flywheel off it so I can send it to them to be mirror balanced because it is externally balanced for the engine balancing. Um, I should have an old junker flywheel, just a standard one, kicking around here. I hope. I hope it's here. Uh, that I can put back in in its place so then the car is just movable. Uh, I'm not going to be driving it with that flywheel in there because it's not balanced for the setup. So that'll also give me a chance to get it up on the hoist and just have a quick once over after roll racing, inspect where the tyres rubbed um, and see if there's anything else going on that I need to address uh, while it's up. But it should be a pretty simple job. I've had the transmission out many times before with the hoist and the transmission jack make it uh, even easier. So yeah, that's going to be my job for tonight. So just got home from work. First things first though is I need to get the shifter off of the top of the transmission so I can then pull it down out of the car. So that's the first thing I've got to do. Then it's push it onto the hoist, get it up in the air, and get a proper look at it. Uh, before I do any of that quickly, I might just have a quick poke around. Do my usual checks that I do after giving the car a bit of a hiding. Coolant oil, catch can. Check for any sort of oil coolant leaks. Uh, that all checks out. Well, I guess even if it doesn't check out, uh, pop in the car and pull the shifter off. Okay, I guess first things first is coolant. Coolant is empty. A little concerning. Doesn't appear to be a leak uh, there that I can see, which is good. Overflow is full, which is good. Just quickly check out this side. No leak there. Okay, so there's a small leak here in this top rad hose. I mean, I've known about this, this rad hose leak for quite a while. There's about half a litre in here, I guess I'll see how much it takes to fill it up. Oh. Yeah, not that much. That could be down to me just not bleeding it properly. I will monitor that, but yeah. Uh, oil, oil is still full, 
and catch can. I need to get a dipstick. Um, oh, there's one right there. Aha. Mm, no, I don't want to use my filler rod. What can I use? Catch cans empty. Cool. Um, yeah. Where was I? So, first things first, I'll get this gear knob off. I do actually want to change this gear knob out. Um, I want to change the whole shifter out actually. I should say. Right. And then that. Now. Yeah. Cool. I'm just knock it in gear, why don't I? missing hmm that's not cool I need to get a stock shifter for this thing eh Aha. okay be a matter of sliding this guy back. Yep. Just like that.
cool. There you have it. I know you've probably heard me ramble on about this before. But, um, yeah, this is it. Standard XZD cushion button cover and flywheel. And just a direct clutch five puck unsprung button and it's pretty beat. I mean, you can tell it was not designed to handle this sort of power and it just wasn't. Like all of the pucks, they all just look stretched and deformed. Like all sorts of messed up. Like you can see here, this rivet is actually cracking. Just under the stress. All the pucks are just sort of chipped. You got chunks missing. But yeah, held on as long as it did. Um, I'm very thankful that it did. But it's time to move on. Time for a big boy clutch. You can see the, the cover. It's getting pretty hot. I mean, it was never designed to do what it was doing. Do that one first. So face. All right. Well, that's it. Um, I got all my measurements I need for that. Um, so I can go and send them away, and they can get cracking on getting the clutch made. Um, and I can get the I can get the flywheel shipped over them or shipped over to them for mirror balancing. Um, I may or may not put this back in the car. I haven't decided. Uh, I do have a lot of stuff that I want to do to the Beamer, but I also have a lot of stuff that I want to do to this as well. So I am a little torn yeah not sure if I do go and stick it back in I'm not going to bother filming it um, I'll just go and slap it back in and uh, resume filming from a different point a different day for a different job um, but yeah so far the car seems alright after it's thrashing out at roll racing. Um, nothing funny going on thankfully. So... Yeah, my only real job now is to get that in the car, get that back in the car. Um, in a cooler of piping and some other bits and pieces. It's going to take him about two or three weeks to get this clutch made for it. So, again, I may or may not throw this back in. I think I might just jam it back in if I can find this other flywheel. Um, and that way I can just move it in and out of the shed and get started back on the beamer again. I, I really. I know I've been saying this in a lot of videos, but I do really want to get hooked back into that Beamer. 
get a lot of progress happening on it. Um, but yeah, that's basically going to be it from me in this video. Uh, nothing too special going on. Keep an eye out for some more videos to come. Like I said, there is some big things in the works for what I'm trying to do with the car. And new merch will drop pretty soon. Uh, keep an eye on the website for that. And I will... I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing yet, but I'm sure there'll be something to do. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys then. Bye bye. You gonna stop? Finished? Sit. Not there, you spastic. Oh, dog, cut it out, mate. I'll be with you guys in a minute. Don't nip my fucking shoes. Hey! Alright, well, 